Is it okay to kiss on the first date? I'm okay right off the bat. If a girl walks up and says, hi, I'm Sally and I'm your date tonight, and she leans in, I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I'm not too shy about that. I'm Gary Turner, and apparently what I do for a living right now is talk to cameras and do interviews. The man of the hour has arrived. The Let the journey begin. How old are you? 72. How do you feel? I feel like I'm 72 at times, but most of the time I feel much younger. All right, so you're getting ready for a date. What's your routine? I'll get my hair wet either, you know, in the sink or uh, in a shower real quick just to get all the, you know, the bed head out. How do you get your hair to look so good? I think it's just genetics. I don't really have much of a secret. And then I like to think I'm done for the day. How do you keep your skin looking so good? What's your secret? Well water. I think it's pretty much just a hand scrub and well water because I don't use cleansers and moisturizers and so forth, but uh, I'm gonna look into that. I think it's time. And then I'll go downstairs and get my first cup of coffee. And I head back up the steps. I will start putting hearing aids in and so forth. When did you start wearing hearing aids? Um, I started about uh, six months ago. I'll grab these in the morning and um, it's pretty easy to put on. They're on a charger. I, I was very reluctant to do it because um, I'm following in the footsteps of my father and he has hearing aids and it's like, oh, I, I don't want to go down that. I don't want to go down that road. I got frustrated that I was missing too much, a little FOMO. And so I thought hearing aids was probably the best way to go. What was dating like when you were younger? Nothing like it is now. Of course, I married my high school sweetheart. The dating at that time was going to Friday night dances or going to the movies. I remember with my wife, we never saw the end of a movie because we wanted to bug out and go parking for a while and still meet curfew. What were you doing when you were parking? A uh, nunya. <laughs> <laughs> for the folks that don't know, what happened to your wife? She passed away and it was a um, very rapid um, succession of, of problems for her. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Thank you. I, I had this foolish notion that if I served out a year of grieving, uh, that it was the right time. And I quickly realized that is not the case, that there's no timetable for something like that. You have to be ready. Both Jenny and Angie, my daughters, were, were always dead. We just want you to be happy. At that point, I, I was in a game that had changed over the last 45 or 50 years, and I didn't know what the rules were. The most prevalent is how you meet women, and it's by far and away the most easy and convenient way is online dating. Some of the women on dating sites have been extremely critical of guys who do not trim nose hair and ear hair. You know, that's something that sneaks up on me. Um, and, and I use the tweezers, I'll, I'll pluck them in. <laughs> so I don't want them growing back. This isn't a very glamorous prescription and it is indeed the only one that, that I take, but it's the generic for a uh, Flomax. So it, it helps me get out of bed at least one less time every night to go to the bathroom. Do you feel like your body is different in any way? Oh, sure. I have these little pockets of fat right here that no matter what I do, I can't get rid of them. Back in the day, I ran nine marathons over a period of time, and when you stop doing that and the years accumulate, um, you start to look a little different. My ideal date, it really is a good dinner. Um, and that's kind of the, the interesting part, is at the end of that dinner, maybe it's been a little bit upscale to go out and shift gears and say, hey, you want to tailgate sit for a while and talk? That's a pretty good date to me. When is it okay to invite a date over for a nightcap? I, I don't know that there's a blueprint anywhere. If there is, why I haven't seen it. But I think you'll, uh, you know, at least I have gotten, uh, you know, clear messages. It's like, hey, um, I'm not ready to go home yet. You know, do you, you want to have a drink and talk more? Gary, is it possible to find love again? It certainly is. If, if you're hopeful and you're open and you're ready, it is absolutely possible. 
it's never going to look the same as the first love of your life. Um, and it would be so unfair to the memory of my wife to think I'm going to find Tony 2.0. It's, it's going to be entirely different, but it certainly is possible. Don't give up on that. Um, there's so much joy in being with someone. What do you hope people take away from this season after watching? I hope that they see that people of my age are as vibrant and uh, engaged as anyone of the age of 20 or 30. A big part of this is it's all about hope. It is hope. Hope is something I think we'll find a lot of tonight.